Buongiorno e benvenuti. My name is Giovanna and I welcome you to my kitchen on the cliff. Today we're making two desserts that are very popular in Italy in the summer. Bianco mangiare, which is a milk pudding, delicious, and gelo di melone, this gorgeous red pudding, which is refreshing, sweet, and delicious. As a result of this uh, new series, Kitchen on the Cliff on YouTube, we are going to publish a new edition of Sicilian Feast. And the new edition will have more recipes, and it will reflect the series. You have honored me with subscriptions and uh, questions and comments and sharing. I would like to let you know that the new edition of this book will be out next spring, spring of 2022. You will find the recipe for Bianco Mangiare in this book, but you will find the recipe for Gelo di Melone in the new edition. So stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you all for your support. We begin with Bianco Mangiare. The ingredients couldn't be simpler. It's milk, sugar, cornstarch, and lemon peel. Here I have four cups of milk. I'm adding about two and a half cups of it to the pot. Next, I'm adding three quarter cup of sugar. To the remaining milk, I'm adding the cornstarch. The reason I do this separately is to get it as smooth as possible. I'm heating up the milk and while that is happening, I'm going to peel the lemon into one continuous spiral. This is going to flavor our milk. We'll save the lemon for another use. I'm putting the lemon peel right into the milk. Start whisking, and when you see the tiniest little bubbles around the edge of the milk, that's when you add the cornstarch mixture. And continue whisking, because at this point, things happen very fast. You will see it thicken right before your eyes. At that point, take a fork and take out the lemon peel. When we were children, we would hang around my mother when she was making Bianco Mangiare because we fought over this piece of lemon peel to suck out whatever was there, the pudding, the warm, sweet, delicious pudding. Now we're going to pour it into our mold. This is going to cool, and after it's cool, we will cover it, put it into the refrigerator to chill overnight. So while the Bianco Mangiare is cooling, we're going to cut the watermelon. Okay. You <laughs> don't sound so enthused. No, I'm not enthusiastic about cutting this thing. Here, let me help you. How beautiful. Go take a picture of that. Oh, the two gorgeous pieces of watermelon. Perfect. We used about one quarter of a very large watermelon. Now we're going to process it. You can use a blender or a food processor. I'm going to put about half and then start it. I'm straining it directly into the measuring cup. This is to take away any possible seeds, errant seeds, although this was a seedless watermelon. This yielded exactly four cups of juice. Now we'll head over to the stove and proceed in a very similar way to the way we made the Bianco Mangiare. I'm pouring about two thirds of the juice into the pot. To the remaining juice, I add the sugar and cornstarch to create a slurry. A slurry is a mixture of liquid and a thickening agent such as flour or cornstarch. The cornstarch is responsible, of course, for thickening both these dishes. I'm heating up the melon juice. 
Once you see the tiniest little bubbles around the edge, you add your slurry. Then you will whisk constantly and bring it to the boil. You'll see it thickening quite fast right before your eyes. Sometimes I add a stick of cinnamon and a few cloves to the pot, but this time I'm adding ground spices. Here I'm adding a dash of cloves and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I let this boil for another minute to allow the flavors to amalgamate. Now I'm going to divide the gelo di melone into individual portions. Let these come to room temperature, then cover and refrigerate them overnight or until ready to serve. Now while our gelo di melone is cooling, we'll prepare the toppings. Here I'm shelling pistachios. Pistachios are very much associated with Sicily and are often used in delicious desserts. I know you could buy shelled pistachios, but the less intervention there is before you buy a product, the better. You know, it's a passatempo. A passatempo is a pleasurable interlude while doing something useful. Our desserts, Bianco Mangiare and Gelo di Melone, have been chilling overnight and we're now ready to serve them, so we're going to garnish them. Now, you will see why I've kept this antique Tupperware for 50 years, because it unmolds everything perfectly. Okay, center it on the glass. And as soon as you open this portion of the Tupperware, the whole thing comes off the mold. So that's why I've kept these Tupperware. If you don't have them, go to the nearest garage sale and buy them. And we are going to decorate it with uh, edible flowers, flowers and leaves. These are rose geraniums. They're very scented. They're magnificent. Uh, Malvarosa in Italiano. And I am going to decorate with Malvarosa because Malvarosa is perfectly safe to, to use in food. I've been decorating cakes with flowers for all my life since before it became fashionable. So here we are with the Malvarosa. I'm going to cut the leaves. So I'm going to decorate the top. Now you wouldn't need the geraniums, but I say they're edible in that, you know, these are perfectly safe to put in food. You want variety of color, you want variety of size, you want repetition. In general, odd-numbered elements are better than even-numbered elements. Okay, I think we can use one more leaf. Sit, 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 sit. That's a good girl. No, you don't understand sit. <laughs> but you don't like these desserts. No, they're not for you. Now that we've decorated our Bianco Mangiata, we are going to garnish the gelo di melone. I really love using chocolate chips because they imitate the watermelon seeds. You can be as creative as you want with toppings. For myself, what I love best on top of one of these brilliant red gelo di melone is just a layer of heavy cream, unwhipped, simple. But you can put anything you want. Use your imagination and your taste buds. Whatever you like best, you add. You want to add everything, add everything. I like whole nuts rather than chopped because I really don't like all that, what looks like sawdust on food. I, I like to see the, the whole nut. Okay, we're going to put coconut whipped cream, non-dairy. We'll do two of them. Now, the only thing that's missing from this array of wonderful summer desserts is a cooling drink. Well, I'm going to make a wonderful Italian summer drink for Nicoletta, who just got off a plane from Milano, and for Howard, who has been working hard all day, and they need refreshment. So here we go. This is Orzata can be bought any place in the world, and it is an almond syrup. So you take two fingers, okay? Two fingers, like this, of orzata. Not two fingers like this, huh? 
okay? And we're going to add, you can add anything you like. You can add San Pellegrino water, you can add seltzer, you can add plain water. This is a classic summer drink and it's very refreshing. Alla salute, con la permanenza. Bentornata. Grazie. And now we'll sample our delicious desserts. I'm going to... Questo è bianco mangiare. Questo è bianco mangiare. You can't do that a second time. That's a triple axel. It's a flip. You know, it's National Watermelon Day on August 3rd. Happy Watermelons Day, everybody. Auguri per l'anguria. Oh, I see. The little chocolate chips are like the seeds. Ah, see? Got it. Don't forget to subscribe. Schiaccia mi piace. Press like. So we will look forward to the new edition of this book with new recipes. And thank you for watching and keep watching. Alla prossima volta. Alla prossima. Ciao. Ciao.